Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to parameterize the post on optimization and parameterize the session log name and the session log path. Let me clear the mapping. Provide a name. I'll create a simple mapping. So, it should be Oracle. I'll select the table. Let's that. EMP. Let's go to the target. Yeah, also it's Oracle. Let's select EMP one two. Truncate the target. Go to field mapping. Exact field name mapped. So the mapping has been created. It's valid now. Let's create the mapping task. Click on three dots and click on this new mapping task. Provide a name. MP underscore mapping name. Select the runtime. Go to next. Okay, here in post on optimization, uh, by default it is none. In my case, uh, I will select post on post on config dollar dollar. So the types are none to source to target and full. So let me select dollar dollar post on config so that i will use this in the param file then i will parameterize the session log directory and uh, name so select this one go to session log file directory i have that session log so I will use this parameter. So dollar dollar session log file underscore dir. Then use the session log file name. Now I will uh, parameterize this. Second time I will uh, parameterize the uh, parameterize based on the task name. I don't know an ID. <clears throat> let's go and uh, let's go and see that. So it is <clears throat> session log file underscore name. Let me download the template. Finish. Okay, now I'll create the task flow. Click on new, select task flow, select the task flow, click on create. Provide the task flow name TF underscore test drag and drop the data task click on data task browse 
select the mapping task. I'll copy the mapping task. Click on general. Provide the name here so that it will be visible here. Now I'll provide the param file. Click on input fields. Param file directory. Add one more param file name. So click on edit. This is the directory in directory I have to provide the path. So this is the path. Provide the path name. Then I have to provide the param file name. Let's make it a uh, pass through test. Copy the name and extension will be dot param. Click on edit. Provide the name dot param. Click on OK. Our task flow what created then let's go to the task and see what all parameters we have used here so in my param file i will use this push down config session log file underscore name and session file underscore dir so i have already created all these i'll copy this let's go to the param file test as you can see two sections are there one is for the mapping task other is global in my case now i will use those parameters inside this uh, mapping task so we have parameterized the push down config here i will provide it's full it's a video i am using full video that's why i have mentioned a few llp then uh, session log directory i'm providing this path this is a custom path then session log file underscore name i am providing um, this task name dot txt save this Let's go and uh, run the task flow. Go to my jobs. It's running. Yeah, it's succeeded now. Click on views of task. Then click on the task. You can see records have been loaded. Okay. Let's go to the session log folder. Click on session log. As you can see now the session log has been created here empty underscore am underscore sample that's what we have provided empty underscore am underscore sample dot txt we have provided that here let's click on this you can see the session log file has been generated in the defined path now close it Click on param or text. Now I want the session log file name to be dynamically generated. So I don't want 
it to be provided in the param file. So I will comment it out. Now let's go to the mapping task. So what I will do now? I'll use the inbuilt parameters. Go to the mapping task. Click on edit. Go to schedule. Go to the end where we have the parameters. If you see um, this parameter and the values I, I have defined in the parameter file. But I want the session log file name to be dynamically generated uh, to be generated through the inbuilt parameters. So there is one inbuilt parameter like a dollar current task name and a current run ID. So I am using that dollar current task name underscore dollar current run ID. Then at the end I am using dot txt. So so these parameters will be taken based on the task name and the run id also will be appended based on the run or to the based on the run id of the task so click finish so in my case i have parameter is only the session log file directory Let's go to the task flow. Now run the task flow. Go to nine jobs. Click on data integration. As you can see, the job is running now. There's an update. I yes, I can see the task flow has got succeeded. Now let's go to the session log directory. Click on session log. Yes, you can see here. Um, uh, the task name is empty underscore m underscore param. Task name is empty underscore m underscore param. And the run id is 2. That's why the session log file name is empty underscore m underscore param. That is the task name and underscore run id. That is 2. So in this way, you can parameterize the session log path and the session log file name you can open that you can see here the, that the parameter has been read properly and this is the path of to session log and this is the session log name So in this way, you can parameterize the session log directory and file name and you can parameterize the push down optimization based on your requirement. Thank you.